Hey everybody, I'm Rocky Harris from After Buzz TV and I'm in the Nickelodeon building with the cast of I Am Frankie. Stay tuned. So I wanted to know first, Alex, you, tell me about your character Frankie. Um, okay, so Frankie is a robot, mm -hmm. of course. Um, so she's very literal. She's not like your average human teenager. Um, but that's basically what she has to learn how to do is become more normal. And that's what she does as the episodes go by. So what was your auditioning process like? Like, did you have to act like an android? Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> so um, I self-taped because I live in Canada. Oh, wow. So yeah, I sent in a video um, of me being Frankie. Mm -hmm. And then I had to send in another one as a callback, um, another video being Frankie. Mm -hmm. And then they flew um, all of us down to Miami, okay. it, uh, which is where we shot. And that was our final audition. And we got the part from there. Can you give me a little bit of your Android voice? Oh my goodness, yes. Um, I don't know what line to say. I never know what to say. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, in the promo when she's in the car, um, she goes, um, pizza ordered. And so she kind of sounds like Siri. So it's a, it's a cool take on that. Yes. During um, the audition process, how long did it take for them to give you the call back? Yeah, so um, I first auditioned in August and I got the part in November. Okay, okay. So yeah, that was yeah. the time the time period. Yeah, mm -hmm. long time. Long, you said it was a long time? Yeah, yeah, long time waiting. So what was what did it feel like when you first got that call that you got the you got the job? Oof, it was first kind of disbelief at first and then you're like, wow, like my life is probably going to change from now on. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty it's, it was really exciting. All my friends and family were super happy for me. So yeah, it was it was an amazing call. Probably one of the best calls. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Yeah, I was um walking into my next shift at work and then my mom called and she's like, "Hey, your agent's on the phone. You got it." And then I just remember like being at work, just smiling. Everyone's like, oh, what's up? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so where were you working at the time? Uh, just this, um, just a restaurant okay. over in town. And you like, so how soon did you let them know like I quit? Um, <laughs> I, I, I kind of put in my two week notice like right then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like right. I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> Say, okay, so what's the most difficult part for you guys being Alex's friend, well, being Frankie's friend? <laughs> um, I mean, it is since, um, there are different moments, you know, with all the characters trying to figure out like what's up with Frankie, you know, cause she acts, you know, a little different because obviously she's an Android. Um, so yeah, I would say character wise, that's probably the oddest thing. So is it weird since you guys know each other offset? Is it weird when she has to turn into Frankie? Not, not really. <laughs> no, you kind of get used to it after a while. Yeah. But uh, was there any like laughing moments where she said something and it's like a like a glitch or? Oh, oh of course. <laughs> there, everybody in the cast. I mean, going beyond like all of us here, um, they they're just so funny and all of us get along so well that we can't just help laughing sometimes. I know there was a scene that like Alex and I were supposed to be really sad and it was very dramatic and we laugh because <laughs> she's funny. <laughs> so a lot of her words are very hard. So if she like stutters or like can't get it, we would mm -hmm. always just be laughing on set. Frankie is holding on to like a huge secret, very big secret. She's an android and she's trying to live her a normal life as a student. I want to know what's the biggest secret that you guys have ever had to keep and did you and have you kept it? Oh, that's I, I have an answer to this. <laughs> um, I guess because this was very confidential, this whole audition process. So I think we were, well, we were supposed to keep this a secret, of course, but I may or may not have told one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but she kept it a secret as well. So I think in, it's like the date and Frankie, you know, situation. Um, but yeah, no, we were supposed to keep it from people that it was Nickelodeon. It was the Nickelodeon show. Mm. Um, and we couldn't tell them until, you know, later after we got the part. And yeah, no, it was, it was hard. <laughs> yeah, that's def that was definitely one of the hardest things. Um, actually, uh, I was... It was in fe in January, like right before we we're gonna film, and I was with some friends, and some person made a joke, and how like I haven't worked in a while, like because oh. I've been auditioning and stuff, mm -hmm. and I I was biting my tongue because I'm not. I mean, I told my family and maybe like two of my friends, but I was that was really tough because I was biting my tongue, not <laughs> trying not to tell them like, hey, I'm gonna be on a new show. Like, <laughs> yeah. That was funny. Oh, and then also for you two, you guys are kind of fighting over Frankie. Yeah. Just uh, uh, yeah, just a little bit. Have you ever had a crush on a girl with one of your friends and it was the same girl? Yeah, you I mean you see a pretty girl and then you <laughs> both end up liking her if you start mm -hmm. hanging out and then it's kind of awkward if someone says like, "Oh, I like her too." Right. So yeah, I mean it's happened before. And how did you deal with it? Did you tell your homeboy like, "No, I'm sorry. I like <laughs> this is me." Be friends too. You don't want to like mm -hmm. ruin a friendship, you know. So you got to be really smart about it. For sure. And then for you, Alex? 
Um, yeah, well, a long time ago, many years ago, um, it was still, you know, considered like like liking someone and a crush. And there was this one boy in our school. I think every single girl liked him. Honestly, mm. it was it wasn't even like a one friend thing. It was probably like ten people. It's always that guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Was that guy in high school, by the way. Oh, you were that guy. I was, I was not that guy in high school. <laughs> that's oh, well. I mean, that's cool to be that guy that everyone wants. No, I, you're like, I, you're like, I, I, I didn't ever think about it. If I was, I don't know. I don't think so. But. I think he's telling you inside information about you. That, uh, I was, I was no. Just, <laughs> <laughs> no. Cole is that guy. Right. Cole, Cole Reyes. Yeah, oh, yeah. My character is kind of that guy. Okay. So that everyone just loves you on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Another question too, with, with Frankie, it's hard for her to fit in because obviously she's so different. Right. Has it ever been difficult for you guys to fit in? And how did you deal with that? Um, yeah, I mean, I've moved um, cities before, mm -hmm. so I think just just moving to a new environment and, you know, school is hard on its own. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll, of course, take time uh, to, you know, get to know people, get to know teachers, classes, whatever. Um, but yeah, after after that kind of lull, after that period, mm -hmm. it, it gets easier. Yeah. But of course, it's difficult for the first couple of days because everything's brand new to you. For sure. So, yeah. Yeah, this, I went to a different school when I was... Uh, I changed schools in fresh freshman year, okay. and I mean it's difficult. You know, there's uh, you don't know a lot of people there, but I think you always find somebody who you um, click with. Yeah, um, so just give it time, and I think it'll pass. So. No, my parents tried to make me move when I was in. Well, we did move, but I told them I'm not moving. I'm not changing school districts. I don't like. I'm telling my parents what to do, <laughs> but I was. I couldn't. I didn't want to do it because I knew that that change would be so hard for me. So I. I totally understand yeah um i'm from utah and when i first started middle school we moved to la mm -hmm. and oh big jump it was such a huge transition from this small town with like you know a few hundred kids in the school mm -hmm. to three grades here with two thousand right and i mean you don't know anyone and it's um no, yeah, it's scary. That's that is weird because I'm I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, so we didn't have mm -hmm. thousands of kids in our school. Yeah. We like everyone pr knew everyone literally, so I know that that can be difficult. Cool question. Frankie is built with a ton of cool features, awesome features. She's super smart, super strong. So, out of all the features that Frankie has, which one would you choose and why? Oh, that's a good question. Oh wow, that is a good question. Um, probably her intelligence. Honestly, she gets she gets away with quite a bit just because of how smart she is. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean get away within the sense that she's hiding stuff. I just right. mean she gets through so many, you know, obstacles um, just because of how smart. And it would be so sweet. You could just fly through life if you knew the answer to everything. And yeah. oh, yeah, I'd, I'd want that for sure. And then you I think I would have to agree or super strength because super strength is yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then again, she can't get wet. So there's a drawback. Mm -hmm. right. know, I don't want to be walking home from school and then get rained on and die. But if you're like you're, you're not an android though, oh, so in no. real life you have any feature that Frankie has. Intellect or strength, I can't choose. Yeah, between speed the is cool. The speed, speed is cool. Speed is very cool. You can clean your room oh, super fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be yeah, that would be my. I think that would be mine. Either the intellect for sure is right. like obviously you need that in all aspects of life but yeah super strength, super speed, cool yeah. too. Strength would be cooler, I think. <laughs> I'd just be more cool to like show people i guess so what would you do on the first day that you got your super strength what would be the first thing oh, you did ask and save people. oh <laughs> i would become a superhero yeah, like, like immediately oh, really? like no question about it so who's like who's your favorite superhero ever spider-man spider-man yeah okay batman. i get batman yeah batman so you were more intellect then i would say because batman's like the smart guy he yeah. just kind of wears the cape is like the seventh smartest person in the marvel universe or something like that okay so, uh, look you're gift <laughs> are there only seven characters like in marvel i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so now i have a lightning round and these are all nick nickelodeon questions so yes so i'm sure you all grew up with nick shows and now you guys are nick kids literally so what was your favorite nickelodeon show growing up i carly or zoe 101 iCarly oh, was mine. I love iCarly. Yeah. Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh. Yeah. They're Hug like, me, brother. <laughs> you guys, what would you do if you met Drake and Josh? Oof. I would probably say hug me, brother, and go hug them. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Drake Bell at a store the other day. Oh, really? yeah. oh so, okay. Yeah, I saw him the other day. My favorite show was probably um, Victorious. Mm. I love the singing and performing stuff because I've always been in that, too. Okay. That's awesome. And then if you could be any Nickelodeon character, who would you be and why? And it has to be a cartoon character. Oh. SpongeBob yeah. SquarePants. <laughs> Patrick Mic Star. Mic drop. 
<laughs> Patrick Star, because he lives under a rock. And you're super smart, and you're saying Patrick Star. <laughs> I'm going the complete opposite now. <laughs> okay, well, then you guys could be best friends. Oh, there you go. That's <laughs> awesome. We are, so. Oh, see, that's uh, awesome. God. And then you? If we're doing SpongeBob, I think Squidward was the funniest. No, Squidward was funny. He no. would he would put in some jokes in there, he and they would just. Clarinet. He can't do anything right. Hey, SpongeBob <laughs> can make some fire Krabby Patties. What can Squidward do? Burn them? I rest my case. I like his humor. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I see SpongeBob. I grew up with SpongeBob, and I had a whole SpongeBob theme birthday party. Like, oh, really? no, yeah. Like SpongeBob was like my everything, but my big sister hated it. She was so into Rocket Power and like the older cartoons. Yeah. Right, right. Like, you know, Timmy whatever. Turner would be cool too to be. Because you have mm. fairly mm. fairy parents. Or... Now, my next question with that is, is that you're stuck in an elevator, and you have one of three characters to choose from: Jimmy Neutron, SpongeBob, and the Fairly Odd Parents. Not Timmy, though. Who would you choose to be stuck in an elevator with? The, I mean, if the fairly odd parents have powers, I I guess something could yeah. come from that. <laughs> Yeah, but Jimmy Neutron would have a more exciting way of getting out. So that's yeah. And SpongeBob would keep better company. So <laughs> that's something to keep considering. Yeah, you know? if you know you're not getting out, then <laughs> SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Right, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. That's, yeah. a, that's a hard one. Jimmy Neutron or SpongeBob? Yeah, Jimmy Neutron is probably more chill than the others would be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would say I would I would want to say Jimmy Neutron because I know for a fact he'd get me out. Whereas right. fairly odd parents, it'd be like. Uh, yeah. Get, get me out. <laughs> right. Right. And then SpongeBob, you're just doomed yeah. altogether. <laughs> period. Well then, yeah, that's it, you guys. Wired Thank differently. You. The brand new show premieres September 11th at 7:30, 6:30 Central. Can't wait. Watch the first episode now on Nick.com/slash Frankie, the Nick app, and Nick on Demand.